Mike Rugnetta, thank you for being here. Grace Helbig, thank you for having me. I'm really excited that you're here. Uh, I hardly ever get to see you. I've been catching up on some PBS Idea channel, and I think I've come up with something uh, to describe to people that might not know what it is, that it feels like um, Gilmore Girls meets education. (laughs) 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 The, The cadence of your speak and the speed at which you're speaking is so intense and articulate and jokes are flying by me before I can even process it and that's why I felt watching Gilmore Girls. For anybody who is you know like you don't have the um, visual yeah. um, I'm turning bright red <laughs> uh, because I have been watching Gilmore Girls it just recently? It just Yeah well because it's, yeah. it's up on Netflix now. Oh. Right? Well I guess I, it Treat would, yourself. It would be more appropriate to say I'm watching it by proxy because okay. Molly is watching it. You're watching um, it. Yes. <laughs> Real. I, go, I, go, I go downstairs and I'm like, yeah, hey, what are you doing? You, yeah, oh, is Gil, it this? Gilmore Girls again. Wait. Yeah, and then I sit down and stay for four episodes. Yeah, you just roll your eyes as you make yourself comfortable. <laughs> for people that don't know, you have a dog. I have a dog named Jack. Named Jack. He, you were saying earlier he's lazy and dumb. He's that's um, <laughs> yes. Although I was lectured by, I met a a pet psychologist yeah why not yeah that career is so this must be a there. thing and and he asked me he was like oh you know do you have a dog and i said yes yeah. and he said oh was, i was your i was like oh he's i love him very much he's really cute he's kind of <laughs> dumb though and he gave me this look like i had said the worst thing you could possibly say really yeah and he said there are no there's no such thing <laughs> as a dumb dog like i had just transgressed <laughs> the worst boundary. Oh my god! Like you and were saying, like the most racist thing. Yeah, exactly, time. exactly. And and I said, oh, okay. Uh-huh. Um, what do you what do you mean? Yeah. How how so? And he said, well, explain how your dog behaves to me, and I will tell you sure. how he is. That is not dumb. Oh uh, no. Uh. So, <laughs> so I explained how Jack behaves, and he said, yes, no, your dog is not dumb. Your dog is just easily distracted. <laughs> and very forgetful <laughs> to which i responded yeah dumb would you rather clothes never get dirty or dishes never get dirty dishes never get dirty oh okay. absolutely really yeah do you have to hand wash dishes yeah yeah it sucks it sucks it's really- also like full confession yeah, okay every piece of article of clothing i'm wearing right now is dirty oh same yeah yeah so i'm not like, even wearing deodorant today i'm like a scum of a human being right now i am wearing deodorant and it's the deodorant you sent me in the mail yeah uh i sent books out to a bunch of people with deodorant and like so many people got their books and the deodorant had opened in the package <laughs> and like smeared all over the book and i was like oh this backfired the quidditch world cup that happens i got a chance to see it a couple years ago I- i've never seen it how is it it's uh i love it so much because <laughs> it's been taken over by like real like lacrosse collegiate athletes of course. play this sport yeah. but they have to run with a broom between their legs like that is one rule they have to do so it's these like muscular fit dudes running and throwing these like quaffle balls at each other but they're just holding a broom <laughs> between their legs the whole time I'm like you guys look like idiots this is the best sport ever a B guy eel wants to know oh hey how's life Life is actually really good. Oh, yeah. that's great. Like, I'm having a great... Okay, no follow-up. Okay. Okay, welcome to your challenge. But first of all, welcome to this panic room basement that I brought you to to kidnap you on camera. I'm having some flashbacks to my childhood of going to places like this on purpose. Yeah, this is at the YouTube space. They have an installation set that is actually, it's CBGB, the old bar that got taken down and it's now here. We're gonna do this in front of history. Today we are taking the tin can challenge and we are infusing Thanksgiving, which is happening this week. I can dig it. And we're going we're going to do something called the blend can challenge. There's no way this is going to go poorly. So what we have, we have five uh, tin can items. It's canned food that you might find at your traditional Thanksgiving feast. We is ha- it all so it's all human food. It's all human food. I'm I've been told unless producer director Jack Ferry no, decides Okay. Didn't know if you fit, decided fit for human consumption. That's good to know. Thank God. We have cranberry sauce, gravy, Canned turkey, which exists. Oh, there. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Um, green beans and candied yams. All the hits. When go is said, you I and run I, out of the room. You leave completely, <laughs> and I'm left here to reflect on the choices I've made as an adult. <laughs> okay. What's going to happen is we will race to open each one of these five cans, scoop in one scoop 
of each item into our blender. Okay. You can see this. This, this is my blender. You can have that blender. I have the fancy blender. Yeah, I've I've been giving you the leg up right now. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Um, there's water here because I've been told this mixture might be really kind of solid. <laughs> so if we want to water it down at all, this is like a real f***ed up Food Network show right now. <laughs> uh, so we race to open the can, scoop in one scoop of each food item into our blender, add some water, blend it all up to our desired blend, uh, pour it into our shot glasses here, and then like you toast and like you do on Thanksgiving, you have to scream out what one thing you're thankful for, take the shot of Thanksgiving dinner, slam it down, and whoever does it first, Wins? <laughs> it's always a question. When I feel like we're winner. both we're both going to be equal yeah. winners. Uh, I feel like the, my lack of a competitive spirit is getting yeah, in the way. Yeah, think about here. what the Native Americans had to suffer from the Pilgrims. So just think about <laughs> that, and then also get and back then to Opel this. Just came to <laughs> um, so I'll leave it in the hands of producer director Jack Ferry. And ready, set, go. Okay. The hardest part, I think, is knowing. Always going to be. How you know, does this happen? I want, so I'm, you know, my background is in. I, I play guitar for a long Wait, time. Wait, how did so you get So I have strong fingers. I don't know. Um, how, uh, I don't know how to use the can opener. And then, I'm losing already. Aha! Oh, I think my can opener broke. Nope. Just doesn't work. And I'm seriously do you, trying. Do you need some help? No, I got. I can, like, open, I can open one of yours if you like. How are you doing it? Oh, it goes like that. Oh, it cuts in like that. Is that technically cheating? Or? No, I got it. Okay. Mom. That is not a fun looking. Which one did you open? I, um, is it gravy? Yeah. Um, I feel like if my hands weren't busy, I think <laughs> I would use big finger quotes around the word gravy. Yep. Go. Can. Also, this water is has debris floating this in it. This is what cat food smells like. I honestly am having flashbacks to being a child feeding our family cat and being oh, like, "Oh, that is actually just kind of disgusting. yeah." But I'm doing this for America, for the pilgrims and the Native Americans sharing the dinner. We've created um, a weird holiday. Is this, so this has now gotten slightly more difficult to, to me because my hands are covered <laughs> in, in turkey ew. of some kind. I haven't even opened, I've just un... Uh, um, if you can avoid it, I don't recommend it. I feel like we didn't need the water because there's a lot of liquid coming out of all of these things. It's really hard to describe uh, what it smells like. It, it smells kind like, of just smells like salty... Salty puke. Uh, it's like if you've ever puked near like a bay at night. Um, I have a really strong stomach, and this is... You do? Yeah. And you definitely don't have any food allergies. Great definitely to ask right now. Definitely don't have any food allergies. Okay. My forearms have never experienced such weirdness. Go. Okay. Go. Can't get the cans. We should have also... How are you? You really caught up. No, I can't. I do not... Uh... My candied yams are trapped. <laughs> what the... Mm, I can't... Right. Okay, that's good enough. Go, go, go. That's a lot of cranberries, <laughs> and not the band. Ah. Okay. Ouch. Oh, so much bean water. <laughs> That's a good name for a punk band is bean water. That's gravy. Oh. Jesus, I hate everything already. No, oh, we don't I'm need sure the, the water. I'm sure the sound guy regrets having to listen to all of this. Tan and beige. I'm thankful this is done. Family, but also taste buds. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. It's. Oh. Ah. I think the walls of CBGB might taste better. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, the turkey it comes in later. Yeah, the turkey didn't get fully mixed in. Oh, basically, each Mario Batali. That was the best Thanksgiving um, dinner I've ever had. Turkey water high five. Thank you, Mike Rignota. Thank you, Grace Helbig, I think. I am so gross right now. It's, um, I feel like I have to go take a shower now. Oh, I thought you were gonna say take a shower right now. <laughs> Both of those things, it's coming out everywhere. Um, thank you for being here. What a great promo for PBS and Idea Channel. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Make sure you go follow Mike on social media. All the links are all around everywhere. And go check out PBS Idea Channel here on YouTube. I just have little bits of 
turkey around my mouth right now. I'm having a hard time thinking, I think because of what was contained within oh. this And if you'd like to- Slurry. <laughs> If you like to, to listen to things that are less gross than this, make sure you go over to Not Too Deep on iTunes or SoundCloud and listen to the full-length interview we did with Bike. I swear it's a lot less gross. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Oh. Happy Thanksgiving. If you could replace your eyeballs with some type of sandwich, what kind would it be? Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese, said with no hesitation. It's just, it's the most delicious kind of sandwich. <laughs> <laughs>